Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Life is Strange. In the last episode, Max headed over to the dormitories. We are looking for Warren's flash drive. Now, before we head inside, I want to explore the area. I'm, I'm making a beeline for that thing. I, I want to say it's called a totem pole, but uh, I'm not yeah. exactly knowledgeable about nature. Yeah, totem. There we go. It was close. Hello. Nice, Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. I don't know if that word has meaning or if it's just something the devs made up. I I have no idea. St I I like that. I think oh, that's dude. I think that's cool. I like that in I think it wasn't last episode. It would have been the episode Sweet. before Miss Grant mentioned that this area had had, you know, Native American people living here. And that apparently the uh, the settlers who came were peaceful. Nice. Not sure how much of that I believe, but fuck it. We'll go with it okay. for now. So I, I like that they kept, you know, Native American objects, you know, on campus. They didn't just, you know, tear it up and, I don't know, bin it. That would be very disrespectful. Hello? Oh, this guy. N no, no, no. I want to look at you. Hey, Logan Robertson. All-American asshole. If I remember correctly, this no. was the guy that was shoving Daniel into the locker. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Dickhead, I didn't want to take a picture of you. You seem like no. a dick. And hello. This was... Bruh. This guy was hanging out with a girl by the bathrooms. Yeah. I think... Oh, I can I can remember what she looked like. She had like a pink mini skirt and a nice, white bro. top, and her hair was kind of in a bun to the side. I can't remember her name though. Hello. Zachary always looks like he'd rather be throwing back a beer than a football. Fair, same. Also, Max, Sweet. that was close. Max, straight up savage, does not flinch when footballs come whizzing past her head. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Okay. Awesome. Okay, whatever, dude. Now then, we have... Hi, I think she's called Alyssa. And you, Kate. Kate, you are my favorite. Oh, hello. Recycling. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Nice. How are you doing, Chuck? There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. How was class? You look down... <laughs> I, I, I want, I want to cheer her up. I want Kate to be our friend. And I, nice, bro. oh, I think sometimes it's a fine line between, Sweet. I feel like we should ask her about her emotions, but I don't want to seem like I'm nagging her. If that makes sense. I, I hope she doesn't take it that way. Nice. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. Awesome. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, that is... That is very fair, sweetheart. Very fair. Hello? Yes! This is going to be too damn cute. At least it's not a cat picture. Yes. Just stay still. So cute. Yeah, let's let's have a look at Yes, look at it. It is adorable. Oh, it <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Um recently in the papers, in the British papers at least, uh a a squirrel was it had to be put down. After going on a rampage in a local suburb, it bit upwards of 22 people. After a, a resident had been feeding it, I don't know what she was feeding it, but basically she had been feeding it, it grew to new the area, and then it just started attacking people. There were small children that were afraid to go outside, and uh, it... 
reading the article, it was very funny because they were talking about a bloody squirrel. They were reacting like it was this vicious beast and it was a teeny tiny squirrel. And uh, yeah, the, the RSPCA came, caught it. And unfortunately, because, you know, great gray squirrels are an invasive species over here it had to be put down it couldn't be re-released uh, it's kind of a sad ending to a rather funny sounding story oh well Sweet. hello make art not war how profound now then i i see you three i see you dickheads on the steps i'll get to you in a minute samuel good old samuel some people are creeped out by him. He's not creepy, just X-Files weird. He's... Nice. If I remember correctly, Samuel... <laughs> you know what, well, let's speak to him. I think that's the best way of demonstrating. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. Nice, bro. Oh, uh, what's with these posters? You look busy. Ooh. I mean, Max doesn't know who's been putting up the posters. I do, but she Sweet. doesn't, so... What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only she would know that, right? Ah, uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that nice, sunlight. Bro. Hmm. Did you know her? You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward, like a clock. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery, positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Samuel... Samuel is very clearly not neurotypical. And... How do I put this? As someone with an adult learning disability, Samuel... How do I put this? He doesn't... He doesn't offend me in the same way that Forrest Gump offends me or the, um, the bloody mm -hmm. Sears film about, like, you know, a girl with autism and they got someone not autistic to play the girl and she does all these, like, facial tics and movements and it's just kind of like, oh no, this is uncomfortable. This ain't right. Samuel doesn't make me feel mm -hmm. like that. And I guess it is because... He is, at the end of the day, he like he's not a real person playing the role. They have a voice actor, but you know, they don't have him doing any like facial tics or anything overtly like, oh yeah, there's something up with this guy. It mm, It's a bit of an awkward one for me. I'm kinda like, it's a little bit dodgy, but out of all of the portrayals of you know, someone with an adult learning disability I've seen. This is, it's not the worst. They could have taken this way farther than they did. If I told and it, Warren what's going on, would he laugh? I don't think so. I don't think so. Warren always struck me as a good dude. Hello. Oh, the sprinkler. You'd think with all the rain here in Oregon, you wouldn't need to water the lawn. I guess Blackwell has to keep the lawn and plants well manicured to look good on a catalog. Now then, Alyssa. No. Hello, my dear. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Then talk to her. Oh. Hi, Max. Yeah, how are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now, no. if you'll excuse me. Well, she certainly sounds very grumpy. I mean, I mean, technically speaking, we did interrupt her while she was reading, so, uh... Rachel owes me money. No. Pay up, bitch. Come down. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. I just love that she owes me money. 
She owes me money. God damn. Anything over here? No, doesn't look like it. Oh, no, wait. Hello. With all these new droughts, it seems kind of obscene to waste all this water. There are droughts? Oh, dear. Now then. Hello, dickheads. You all right? Oh, shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Hi. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave yeah. hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> no. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Uh, let's be honest, aside from the last line, that really wasn't a good drag. Victoria could have done better than that, but she didn't. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. If I remember correctly, it's all about pouring paint over her. Like I said, nice if I remember girl. correctly, let's... I'm inclined to just see what he does. I, I remember the solution. I don't remember how it's done. Like I say, nice it has girl. been like six years since I saw this. Yeah. Okay. And he left this door open. But, um, what I was gonna say, yeah, that wasn't a, a terribly great drag. It was pretty average. Yet Max just kind of Sweet. stood there and took it. I'm like, Max, you could have said something back there. You really could have. The water pump. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Okay. Now then, here's what I'm thinking. Let's rewind. And was it was it control? Yes, it was. Aha. Nope. Keep going back. All the way back. Now then, what we need to do, if I, now I'm, I'm good going at this speed. We need to get them off of the steps and then we need to fuck about with the bucket. That's how this is done, if I remember. Okay, okay, go, go, go. Use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Got to admit, I do love that water on my cashmere. And then, yep, we tamper. Just ignore me, Samuel. Just ignore me. Okay, let's see if this works. Hey, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Bitch, don't talk to him like that. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah, but poor Samuel got yelled at. God damn. Now then, hello. Hello, you. Oh, man, she looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. I will admit, there was a okay. there was a shot there where she looked genuinely distressed. Like, not annoyed that her clothes had been ruined, but like genuinely genuinely like 
upset. I felt kind of badly. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Make fun of or comfort. Oh, I... I'm gonna rewind this. But here's the thing. For, for just like a hot minute... I think that Max is thinking, you know, like, I can rewind this, so what does it matter? I can take out my aggressions on this girl. She has been making fun of me from day one, so now I can make fun of her, rewind, and have zero consequences for my actions, and I think Max would take it. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Yeah. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. I'm gonna... I'm gonna move away so that I don't accidentally go into the dorms. Um, it was... Yep. Rewind. I think Max... Like, she's a teenager. Teenagers do dumb shit sometimes. And I think... I think Max is kind of... She's taking this as the, you know, the opportunity to kind of live out those fantasies. With this power, she can be popular. She knows all of the answers. She can make fun of her bullies. And they will never know. Uh... Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Yeah, we're we're gonna comfort her. As I said, Max, I do think she wants to be popular. I do think she wants to be social. And so now that we've, you know, mocked her, made fun of her, made her forget, we're now going to be nice. I am using air quotes there. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. No. It was. But there'll be another. Nice. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. Nice, He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Yeah. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Nice, bro. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. No, we're good. Victoria strikes me as the kind of person, when she's around other people, she has this need to like, you know, oh, I've cultivated this reputation. I have to do anything to keep that up. But when she's alone, when you're talking to her one-on-one, -on -one, she's a lot more genuine and sincere. I, ah, uh, Victoria. No, 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 no. I, I want to, I want to go in. I want to go in. There we go. And we have so many things to look at. Hi, Courtney. What? Oh, hello. Shit. Oh, yeah, there they go. Run. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. She really is. Run, bitches. Run. <laughs> Work those legs. What do we have here? Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Hmm. It does. Welcome to Black Hill. Okay, so we have Brooke Scott in 2020. 2020? Jesus! No, 220! It's it's because it's... it's oh, these, these past few years have been shit. Uh, in 219, Max Caulfield. 221, Victoria Chase. Oh god, she's right opposite us. I'm, I'm glad we were nice. I'm glad we were, otherwise uh, that... I mean, Victoria Chase already makes 
Max's life very, very hard. But, you know, hopefully, hopefully she'll remember we were nice to her. Maybe she'll be nicer to us in the future. Uh, Kate Marsh in 222. Dana Ward in 218. Uh, Juliet Watson in 223. Stella Hill in 217. And Taylor Christensen in 224. And there's a TV lounge, some vending machines. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Got it, got it. Just a, a random picture of a dude. <laughs> Red room. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Oh, is that... I'm, I'm guessing that is a... Uh, oh, The Shining reference. I've... I never watched The Shining all the way through. We watched... We watched some of it in religious studies class. Don't ask me why. It wasn't part of the curriculum. The teacher got bored and decided, you know what, we're gonna watch some, uh... We're gonna watch some of The Shining. Fuck it. It was the, um... Not the one with Jack Nicholson. The one that Stephen King, you know, did himself. It was all right. Okay, uh, reward on September 16th. Yes, this is, this is the guy who's looking for his tablet. HIV and AIDS aren't just initials on a poster. These are serious, life-threatening diseases. Nobody is immune from exposure. Get the facts now. For more information, choose health at choosehealthadmin.ed. Uh, I've got to the bitch that stole my Fransu new face creme. That was expensive shit, and I need it for my acne. I know exactly how it exfoliates, and I'll be watching your skin the second it clears up. Okay. Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Don't let Big Brother watch you. An intrusive surveillance system could be installed by the end of the school year at Blackwell Academy. Members of the faculty and student council will hold a public forum to inform and discuss this important issue. Please come speak out against this invasion of privacy. October 18th, 5pm, Student Centre Main Hall. Hmm. Uh, David Madsen certainly, uh, certainly seems determined to get his cameras. Excuse me? Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Taylor is a slave. Could be either. It could just be some randomer who doesn't like Taylor. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Don't be afraid. Be ready. Young guns training. Even under 21, you can still learn how to operate firearms from AK to... A Russian word. Young Guns uses fun, safe, perfect plastic replicas. Stop by our bunker. Oh, God. never trust anyone who has a bunker. Don't. But no. Stop by our bunker for a test demo. Uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Saturday, 174 Hemingway. Ignore big dogs. Young guys and gals from Blackwell get a 20% discount. Oh, no. Well, that makes me uncomfortable. Man, people here are merciless. Safe, not sorry. No matter how much you like each other, one slip-up can change your life. You have a choice. There's nothing wrong with waiting. Uh, see Kate's video for proof. Oof, that is harsh. Uh, can you hear me? We, uh, yes, we all can. Please respect your floor and neighbour. Be quiet in the halls after 10pm. Thank you for listening. Oof. People, people are going hard on, on Kate. Damn. Juliet, extreme reporter. Uh, Juliet, read this week's edition of the Blackwell Totem. Seriously, who cares? The people who read the paper care. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. Stompin' Bigfoots. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Mm, popular or prolific? That is the question. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Hmm. Cute. I do, I do like deer. 
I'm very fond of deer. If you hadn't noticed, given the fact that my uh, my YouTube icon is a white stag. Nope, hello, flipping heck. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. God damn, who leaves that out in the flipping holes? Clean up. Oh my god, I... That scared the shit out of me, then. At least that's an alarm from this century. Mm -hmm. uh, be alert on campus. Observe the following tips for your safety. Always be aware of your location. Always let a friend know where you are or where you're going. Always report any incident immediately to the campus authorities. To download a free campus alert app, go to www.blackwellacademy.ed. I'm assuming this is in... I'm assuming this has come about because of all of the missing persons posters and people feel unsafe on campus. It... Oof. I mean, it's glad that they're doing something. It, did I just say it's glad? I'm glad that they're doing something. It's good that they've come up with this, like, app that you could download download on your phone to, you know, help you stay safe. But it... Oof. Oh. God, I'm... This will sound bad. I'm surprised they didn't have a bullet point saying, carry keys in your hand so that if anyone attacks you, you already have a way of defending yourself close by it. Oof. God damn. It, it makes me uncomfortable because this is stuff I've been told since I was a, a young teenager. And I'm like, mm, that's... It's sad that that's the world we live in, where young girls have to keep these these things in mind because uh, you don't want to end up on a missing persons poster. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Hmm. Geek Girls Book Club. Looking for like-minded souls to read and discuss authors Ursula K. Le Guin, Robin Hobb, Neil Gaiman, Piers Anthony, Terry Brooks, David Calvo, Marion Zimmer, Bradley, and the usual flying dragon shit. No boy wizards or sad vampire fiction allowed. No boys, period. Contact Brooke. Oh, so that's Brooke. Okay. And for sale, this bike will lead you anywhere. $20 delivery. Oh, $20 delivery for $5 more. Contact Tyron on that. Number. Thanks for the warning. And the Vortex Club still coming soon. Hello? No one out there? The bathrooms? The bath. I seem to be having a lot of misspeaks today. The bathrooms? I do speak. I do speak English. I swear I do. No, I want. There's something there, and I want to look at it. What is it? What is this? I can see it just like out of the corner of certain shots. Oh, whatever. Whatever. It's probably nothing. I give up. How dare. They live. Don't be a zombie. Social media has a time and place. Don't let life flash you by. Okay. Fair dues. Then... Oh, dickheads. We'll bang for Jesus. Don't. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. It is. Draw over it. There we go. There we go. Let's let's do what we can to help Kate not not have to deal with that shit. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Don't let depression keep you down. Everybody gets sad and lonely. If you need somebody to talk to, please call us anytime, day or night, and we will listen because we care. Twenty-four hour live hotline. I, I, part of me wonders if that's a little bit of, um, oh god, brain, brain, I'm just having an awful time with words today, apparently, you know, non-verbal storytelling, you have the, the poster for depression right next to Kate's dorm, it, oh. okay, statistics tutor wanted, help, 
It's been almost a month of stats and I still don't understand. Is this math or philosophy with graphs? Help me. We'll pay if you get me an A. Help. Courtney. Okay, Courtney wants that. And lost phone. Diamond phone case. Last seen at Vortex Club Party. Please return to lost and found Prescott Dormitory. Thank you. Meat is still murder. Join the Blackwell Vegan Club. Veggie potluck at every meeting, every Wednesday at 5pm, the Students' Lounge. Girls' Night Out, Halloween-y... Stream? I'm assuming that's supposed to be Stream Along, Stream Along, or Scream Along. Either or, Nightmare Before Christmas, October 16th, 7pm, uh, Dormitory Lounge, bi-monthly and bi-friendly. Hey, nice! Also, there goes my timer. Yeah, nice. Eh, I'd go to that. Now then, you know what? Before I finish exploring this, I'm going to end off right here. In the next one, we'll go get that flash drive. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.